Hi, it's Julie with the Byron Public Library and today I'm going to go show you quickly how to make your heartful hanger. So the first thing you'll need to do is get a few things from home, paintbrush, glue stick, pencil, and the pencil doesn't need to be sharpened, you're going to use the eraser end of it. And if you also have school glue, that would be helpful. If you don't have both items, you can make it work with just one. But if you do happen to have a glue stick and glue, that's the ideal situation. Uh, so the first thing you're going to do also is cover your work surface and not roll up your sleeves, wear some old clothes. We're going to start by painting this heart. And you'll notice there's a small heart that's been glued onto the large. We're painting everything. Um, we're going for what's called a monochromatic look, which means using the same color, but we're using different textures. So the first thing you're going to do is paint your heart and you want to um, get a good coating of paint on that. I'm not going to make you watch me paint this whole heart, but that's what you will do. You'll paint the whole thing a nice red color. Okay. And then you're going to set that aside to dry. So I'll just set it over here. We'll pretend I painted the whole thing. If you want to follow along with me, you can pause it and do that, or you can just watch the video and go back. While that heart is drying, you can um, string the hanger. So you'll need the bag that has your pipe cleaner and the beads in it. And it also may be helpful, uh, I should have told you this at the beginning, but if you have any kind of lid or small container that you can dump those beads into, that might be easier for you than pulling them out of the plastic bag, but whatever works. So what we're gonna do is we want to string these um, towards the center of our pipe cleaner. You can make a pattern if you want. You could do, you have pink, uh, red, and white, so you can do whatever you want. But the important thing is you need to move them toward the middle so just kind of string, string them on and you want to move them to the middle of your pipe cleaner. And when it's finished, it'll look like this, okay? So you can kind of, and you can definitely move them once they're all on it. You just have to do it in sections. So you wanna make sure it's somewhat even. So you'll wanna hold it up and make sure that the parts that don't have pipe cleaner on the ends are about the same size, all right? And then we're just gonna set that aside because we'll use that again at the end. So we'll set our pipe cleaner with the beads on it aside and we're gonna hope our heart is dry. If not, just give it a few more minutes. If you wanna hurry it along, you can take a blow dryer and blow, use that to uh, dry. It does dry fairly quickly. The next thing you're going to do is get your pencil, and if you have one, a glue stick. And then you need your bag that has tissue paper in it, and I believe it's labeled use for small heart. So what we're going to do is is the tissue, I started this, so you could sort of see what it looks like. We're gonna try to fill this center heart with the tissue paper and uh, so that it has kind of a 3D pop out effect. And I think many of you have done this before at school and at the library, but the technique, if you have not, is to take your glue stick, take your pencil, take your piece of tissue, you're going to sort of wrap that around the eraser side of your pencil, you're gonna rub it on the top of your glue stick, and then you're gonna push it onto your heart. And you wanna try to fill it, so get them close together and fill that in. So go ahead and do that. It's a little more difficult to do if you don't have, so again, like that, if you don't have a glue stick, then probably the best thing to do would be to still wrap this around your pencil, like so and then take a tiny bit of glue and I think my glue might be stuck. Let's see. Oh, I got too much. So it's, it's, it's easy to get too much um, and then stick it on. And it, it'll take a little bit longer for that to dry if you're using glue, but it, it works. Okay, so either one. So you're going to fill that whole center so we have a very fun 3D effect on our heart. And then when that's finished, you're going to work on the outside and you have a bag of collage materials that has, has a lot of different materials in it. And for this part, especially for, um, we have these very fun kind of sparkly, whoops, I just dropped it, sparkly palms. Those are a little more difficult to get to stick with the glue stick. It will work. Uh, but it, again, if you do have glue, use that especially on the pom-poms. And you want to make a circle about the size of the palm. You want to push it down and count to 10 
um, that is going to take a it will dry but you just might need to get a good a good bit of this glue so just use a generous amount not wide but thick and about the size of the palm um, and just those will take longer to dry so um, and just be careful not to bump those while you're placing your other materials if you only have a glue stick it's going to work you're just going to have to do a thick layer of glue hold that down and maybe hold it down and count to 20. And again, just be careful with that till it dries. The other materials in there are um, felt and um, regular pom-poms and then yarn. So I think any of those are fine with either. Uh, it might be easier to do the yarn with the glue because you can make a skinny line, but either one will work. So you're gonna fill the whole outside with these fun collage materials, okay? Um, and then you're gonna leave it flat until it dries, and especially the palm air. We really need to let those dry. Uh, if you're careful, you might be able to string the, we'll pretend that this one's finished. Um, you might be able to string the hanger on while it's drying flat, but you can just wait until it's completely dry if you want to. I'm just gonna hold it up so that you can see what I'm doing. It definitely is possible to do this while it's laying flat. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take um, each end of these of the pipe cleaner and we're gonna put it through the holes, right? And then we're gonna fold that up to the top and we're gonna twist it around each side. So we'll twist it, twist it, so that it's really nice it's secure and it stays and then you have a fun hanger and it'll look really cool with the 3d effect and all of the other things you can hang that up you can hang it on your wall on the bulletin board on a door so have a great time with the project thanks for joining me